Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brox. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Just give God some praise with your mouth. You ain't, I, I do think they always got to say words. The Holy Spirit moans and groans and grunts and does stuff that we don't understand, but he's talking to the Lord. He be saying something like, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You don't know. You got the grunting, moaning, and mm. Can you imagine the Holy Spirit groaning or being in the presence of his groans? Because he's the Holy Spirit, right? So you're in the presence of his groans, and all of a sudden, glory hits you like a hot fire. Pow! And you light up like lightning. <gasps> wow! That was refreshing. Do it again. <laughs> and no matter how much you you try you try you cannot mimic what he just did you keep trying and trying and trying you praying hallelujah you moaning and groaning and for the life of you you cannot mimic what he did you can't do it you're like well i ain't the holy spirit but i get to be in his presence so i guess i might as well pray and worship the Lord. Let's let the Holy Spirit come on in. <laughs> I like that. That was good. And you get all excited and all cheesy, cheesy. <laughs> all right, y'all. We got we got some politics for you. Uh, we had a uh, my piece my piece coming up in the last fifteen minutes. The altar call. In the last five minutes, I do that kind of backwards, and then of course, uh, birthdays in about eh, 20 minutes or so from now. Um, what is going on in politics? Here is something crazy for Chicago politics. You're like, it's the Chicago Public Schools. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the Chicago Public Schools. And you're thinking, ah, how's that political? Well, it, it is, it's run, the Chicago Public School is run by an organization, you know, the, the, um, darn it, they just slipped my mind. Oh, teamsters, you know, people that uh, fight for the rights of uh, employers, employees, and they have unions, that, thank you, they have unions and stuff that fight for the rights of employees. Unions are completely political. You're like, oh, well, they're supposed to be non-biased. And so, yeah, but they got to have their foot in politics all the time. So here's something crazy that they're doing, and I, I'm assuming it's just so that they can uh, try to improve the budget. They are laying out 487, you heard me, 487 janitors throughout the Chicago public school system. You're like, what the freak? We're going to have nasty schools. No. They've hired or contracted out those jobs to these corporations. And I'm wondering, uh, are, the, are these uh, organizations that they contracted out to, are they owned by the same person? Or the same group of people. There's a circle of friends which are uh, uh, assigned as uh, affiliates or spokesmen for the people that meet with the uh, mayor. And I ain't calling them corrupt or nothing. I'm just saying, whenever you have some political clout, will you try and get a contract? I would. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, uh, is this legal that I ask you for this contract? You know I do cleaning, right? I'm just here as an advisory trying to make things better for the children and for the people. But, you know, I got this company. We clean buildings. We clean houses. And I'm wondering since, you know, 
if we go in there, we can do it for you a little bit cheaper. Not that much cheaper, but a little bit cheaper. And you don't have to pay retirement. And you, you don't have to pay medical and stuff because we, we're, we'll take care of that. And then they hire people as contractors and rather instead of employees. And then employees become responsible for their own medical, health care, and retirement funds. Boom. Instant fix to the budget for the Chicago Public Schools. Am I against that? No, I love self-employment. I, I, I love it. But um, will those 487 people get an opportunity to, will they have to apply for a job that was already theirs? Will some, I know some of them be forced into retirement. Will they actually, will they actually get that opportunity for retirement? I, I'm just wondering, you know, what's going on here? I mean, is this an effort to get rid of the unions? Because, you know, politicians have been trying to get rid of the unions for a long time because you often hear the unions are run by the mob. They're run by the mob. We want to get rid of the unions. Do all of them have mob connections? Some do, some don't. You can look back in your history book, look back at the newspapers and see. You'll see some mob ties and some you won't. You'll see some political ties, but... You know, when I think about mobsters, I also often think about politicians <laughs> who have sometimes been the greatest mobsters. You're like, well, what do you mean? Well, what I mean is <laughs> here they are smiling and cheesing and kissing babies, right, to get into office. And they, they initially go in with this bright-eyed idea. I am going to fix the system. I am here for the people. And then they run into a muckety muck of people who have been jaded. And they're like, man, give it up. We came here with the same idea. We wanted to change the world. And, well, it don't work that way. Money runs it all. So you better get yours while you can. So then you wonder, man, is there anybody that's going to stand up and say, hey, I'm not going to take that money that they're giving. I get a paycheck. I'm going to live off my paycheck. I ain't going to live beyond my means, and I am going to work for the people. You're wondering, where is that guy? Where is that girl? Where are they? You know, you can get a good couple of good sound bites, you know, get the media to put in some good sound bites for you. But the, the, the one thing about media is um, we need smaller outlets of media. And you're like, what? Because the major medias are owned by stockholders who decide what they put up and what they don't. So if the media can, can be completely autonomous, regardless as to who has stock in them, and they can report the political truth regardless of who's the boss, that would be awesome. Has that ever existed? Eh, no. Have they had more freedoms? Yup. Yep. So what are we saying about politics? We're saying that when it comes to politics, when it comes to governing, it should always be we the people and not, yes, sir, you are the apex. You are the boss. We'll do whatever you say. See, one person should never be in charge of any entity. One person should not be in charge of everything that goes on in a city or state or country. Not even the president himself isn't he he can't go in and micromanage everybody. There's other people in effect, there's three how three branches of government that are in effect, but yet some of our politicians want their buddies that own these corporations to run the world. And then you forget about the people. You even hear people saying, Oh, forget about these poor people. Let them be hungry. Let them eat cake. It's so funny when we tell people, eat cake, eat the riches when they can't even afford the flour to make the cake. So I'm just saying. You're like, Kathy, you're rambling, you're rambling. No, I'm not rambling. All I'm saying is, while we go, when we go to the voting box, remember that the government is made up of the people. It's not one person. It's not one company. It's not one, this guy that wants to take over a whole city or, or a state or a couple of states and wants to run the economy and decide who gets hired and who gets fired. It's we the people. 
if we don't come together as a people, then we'll definitely fall. We will we'll, we'll be lost. We'll be corrupt. And we'll trample each other just to get a piece of bread. When If we would do it right and work together, we all could eat. We all could live well. Instead of, well, 99 and 1%, and we're fighting against each other and making more bills because, well, we're fighting against each other instead of working together. So, well, hey. Let's get in the winner's circle, y'all. Here's A. Sanford, winner's circle. Greater is he that is within me. Those that are in Christ keep winning. They think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win. Inside out. Greater is he that is within me. Those that are in Christ keep winning. They think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win. The fans in the stands make it plain. Say what? Cause they misjudged yeah. my circumstance. Uh, they forgot that we've been here before. Yeah. Back against the wall, grab the coffin, uh, and close the door. You never seen a comeback like this. Yeah. Mortal Kombat ain't got nothing yeah. on here. Yeah. Cause he riding with me. Yeah. Jesus Christ, he's uh, really riding with me. He hung, died, and rised in me. He, he got, got the whole wide world in his hand. So don't misjudge your circumstance. You only suffer but a moment. Uh, One thousand years is but a moment. Yeah. It only really take a moment with him what? to get back to what we already win. What? I said twice, yeah, we already win. Uh, and Jesus Christ is alive again. We win from the inside uh, out. Greater is he that is within me. Those that are in Christ keep winning. They think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win. Inside out. Greater is he that is within me. Those that are in Christ keep winning. They think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win. Don't let no hater dim your swine. Break it down, eh? Confidence personified. What? Faith is the substance of things that is hoped for. Yep. I'm confident in what Jesus Christ bled for. Not to be a loser, cause the accuser. Bruce are healed like the scuff on the red bottom. Difference is the red got him like he was on sale. And the orders was the red got him. It's the bottom of the night. The angels is up. The pirates ain't. Or is it aren't? Like we were there and y'all weren't. We're talking about number winning over here. Yeah. We on top of the building. Like it was no ceiling. What's the purpose of winning if it ain't cream feeling? The kingdom of God so winning. We winning from the end. Greater is he that is within me. Those that are in Christ keep winning. They think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win. Inside out. Greater is he that is within me. Those that are in Christ keep winning. They think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Brother pain and the glory revealed Ain't even worth it being bad uh, We overcome by the blood of the Lamb And the word of our testimony The brother pain and the glory revealed Ain't even worth it being bad We win it from the inside out Greater is he that is within me Those that are in Christ keep winning they think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win. Inside out. Greater is he that is within me. Those that are in Christ keep winning. They think we're losing, but they don't know. We really win.
Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. All righty. It's about that time for the birthday. Oh, my goodness. And and the uh, congratulatory um, praise for those that have had a job (laughs) or got a job. Ms. Carrie Lewis is now the HR manager for Cisco Foods. Congratulations, courtesy of LinkedIn. 
Congratulations. Woo! <clears throat> but now y'all know if you're friends with Carrie, she may be able to help you get a job. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, actually, that's what she does. So if you got the skills, let me go check her out. All right, Carrie Lewis. And um, if today is your birthday, then definitely happiest of birthdays to you. You actually celebrated with some with some pretty famous people, Mr. Mark Anthony, what? Amy Poehler with her crazy self. Oh my goodness. Uh, Kyla Pratt, oh so cute. Sabrina Bryan, B.B. King, Anthony Padilla, Mr. Nick Jonas, I love his hair, uh, Ian Harding, oh, so cute, and Mr. Ballhead, clean cutie by himself, Flo Rida, <laughs> oh my goodness, happy is a birthday to you, oh my goodness, today is your birthday, Happy, happy, happy. Today is your birthday. Happy, happy, happy. Today is your birthday. Happy, happy, happy. Happy is the day to you. All right, y'all. Don't forget, if you are going to go out today or this weekend to celebrate your birthday, do it in style. Do it with grace. Definitely have some mercy. And, um, you know, plan it out. Check out our partner pages on LUTGradio.com. What am I saying? I don't want you to end up drunk on your face somewhere by yourself. Don't want you to end up in an accident because you thought, I only had 10 drinks, I can still drive. Yeah. Go ahead and rent a venue, rent a room, have some fun. Um, you know, uh, rent, rent a car. Get somebody to do the driving for you. That way you can chillax and we'll see you tomorrow and next year. Because we want to celebrate your birthday again. So happy, 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 happy day of your birth. You know your mama always said, it's been eight hours. I had you in me for eight hours trying to push that big old head out. Well, tell her mama it is out and I'm ready to have some fun. And we're going to do it right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness we got music for you and my piece coming up shortly Amen. hi this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio Chicago, Illinois this is an example of a 15 second commercial contact us at LUTG Radio at gmail.com advertise with us today we want your business contact us today When I got on, I wasn't gonna fake it. Now I drop bombs on all these songs, and I would show y'all no hesitation. I'm on my mind when I write rhymes. Build these lines while I start climbing up the ladder. Not one better. Thank the Lord for my salvation. Keep on shining and designing all these lines to pay my grind. All y'all try to go rewind and turn my flight into decline. Y'all don't bother me. I'll probably just turn into a monster. See, I want this thing forever. Will I give up? No, I never. When I drop that beat, make you listen. Understand with the flows, I'll be blowing up. Living in the west side, but I stay true to Florida. 16's a pristine, and you know that the flow is tough. When the stage lights up, you bet that I'll be showing up. I violate these beats like Jeffrey Dahmer and Little Boys. Those roll up in Megazords, and you messing with little toys. This right here's the moment that I pitch it in my dreams. The moment where I take over the world with my team. When I drop that beat, make you listen to the music.
never lose it. Never. 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 LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. All right. It's about that time for my opinion, my piece. And here it is. Um, President Obama has made, and and, uh, our government has made the difficult choice to send in troops uh, not in a fighting capacity, but if they're attacked, they get to defend themselves. Who wouldn't, right? That's just nature. You don't do it. They're sending in troops uh, as a sort of like consultants uh, for the Iraqi troops and whatnot. Um, and it says that this is not a war like Afghanistan. America must take the lead. We're the ones that will solve the Ebola crisis. We're the ones that uh, speaking on past, you know, things that have happened already. And, you know, this is not like Afghanistan, and this is not like when we were at troops on the ground. And America must uh, be the ones that give the Ukrainians freedom and help them uh, with Russia. True enough, uh, we, we are a superpower. 
and uh, our that superpower comes from democracy, the belief that all men should be free to choose and not be forced. You know what I mean? When you give people freedom, they'll choose to stand by you. But when you force them, stand by me or you die, they're like, yeah, I'll stand by you physically, but, you know, my will is against you. <laughs> You're like, Kathy, what are you saying? I'm saying a lot of people are against uh, helping all these different countries because uh, it seems as though we're spreading ourselves thin. Although that is not what you hear in the media. In the media, you're going to hear both sides. You're going to hear, ah, uh, you know, we're for it. Oh, no, we're against it. They killed some media people, some journalists. Go get them. That could happen to anybody. You know, they kill journalists, they kill government employees. And I'm not making light of it, not at all. Um, I'm glad that uh, we are helping, uh, whether it's the Ukraine or whether it's Africa or whether it's Iraq. Um, but in addition to us sending our people over there as well as our money and our knowledge, uh, we also need to pray. Pray for those soldiers that are over there. Because while they're there, their families are here and praying and hoping that they come back and, you know, the same way they left. You know, a sound mind and body, and and they're praying that they don't go through PTSD. They they're praying that they have their their husbands and their wives back and their kids, because oftentimes we go over there to fight and go over there to consult or to help, and we get killed, we get shot, we get messed up in the head. We we need a constant adrenaline pumping all the time, and so you know they come back. I say we, but they come back and they can't even get medical care. You got people at the VA stealing from them, mistreating them, reporting things that they haven't even done for them. And you got these soldiers in wheelchairs or soldiers in mental wheelchairs. They can't seem to get any help. They know they need help, but nobody will help them. So I say, and I know Obama has put through things to help the veterans, especially with medical care. Wouldn't it be great if it could happen now? Meaning they could see the results now. Because when you go to buy a car, you don't necessarily want to wait three weeks for a Toyota. I mean, it's just an average car. Okay, you want a special order of Lamborghini. All right, well, they were at war. That was special order. Now they're back home. We've had plenty of time to prepare for their coming home. Let's help them out now. Let's help out these soldiers that need help now. Some of them just need somebody to talk to. Some of them just need a little bit of simple medical care that if they had insurance, they could go get it there. Some of them can't even afford insurance. Some of them are sleeping on the street. I remember talking to some of them when I used to do collections. I will call them up and they'd be sleeping on benches. I talked to some of them they'd be like, well, I just lost my house. I just lost my apartment. I fought for our country, and yet I can't even have a place to lay my head. So, why not help them out now? Because they already put in their time, they put in their order. Why not help them now? I'm just saying. That's my piece. We got the obstacle coming up uh, in less than six minutes. Here's Anything for You by Nikki Chris.
Later, uh, and this gon' get yeah, it. it. Everywhere I go, hood, to can spill it. Yeah. I'm a good ring and rebelling. Yeah. By the way, I walk, but you probably think I'm jelly. Yeah. Do you follow my thoughts? It ain't no telling. Uh. Double on tangent, but it blew over your head like a quick, swift breeze. Now your hat over the ledge, and I'm just like, whatever. I'm just writing clever. Mind over matter, my rhymes like a lever. Trying to reach that level, trying to beat the devil. On this dark night, thinking about a ledger. Equity, expenses, assets, etc. My auntie say, God. Gonna bless ya, but I gotta keep the lead in case this nigga wanna test. I eat or starve either way, they gonna arrest ya. So if you go down, at least keep something extra. My sickness is sickening. My prescription is sick. Kicks on thick chicks. Pretty face, big sniffs. But I just kill beats. This was on the hit list. Now I made it to yo, this my ish mix. COD, I need money for the shipment. Don't know where I'm going, but I'll get there in a minute. I gotta get it, period. In the sentence. Hold on, man. I ain't finished. I can, I can. That's my mantra. ABM. That's my sponsor. Yeah. I'm Ron to Japan with the tail of a lobster. Jaws of the grams. That's the smell of a roster. Scars on my hand. That's the spell of a rock star. I'm hard on my plan. Top reveal like a mobster. Understand that I have no control. This is all God's plan. So I rejoice in the moment with my friends, and I don't have many. I can count on one hand. Please guide me through all my endeavors. So crank up the bass and the same with the trouble to my name. Packs a place and I'm flame like the devil. I relax with my mates. Yeah, I came with some rebels. So relax while I revel and unravel and bring back all. All right. It is about that time for the altar call. Amen. Whether you are a rebel like Italian or whether you just trying to make it. Like, I'm just trying to make it, trying to make some money, trying to get this and get that. I'm so tired. No matter what I do, it don't work. And I'm just frustrated. And, oh, my goodness, can I get a relief? Yeah, Jesus. Give it all over to Jesus. Like, what is giving it all over to Jesus going to do for me? Give you peace for one thing, forgiveness of all your sins. And open up some doors of opportunity for you. Because sometimes the door could be right there in front of you and you don't even see it. It's because you're too frustrated. Yeah, that happens. Let us receive the free gift of salvation right now. Let's do it together. You're not alone. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. 
go to letgradionetwork.com, click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell everybody that you got saved on LUTG Radio. Amen, amen. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. Congratulations. Read your Bible every day. Sign off with the book of John. Don't miss. And again, congratulations. <laughs> to the next segment we have more for you um, of course more quick snippets of my take on politics which is not a whole lot just an opinion and uh, music opportunity for salvation vocabulary word and ministry minutes we're trying to pack it all up in there all right y'all peace this is Kathy Brock for LUTG Radio